How's it going guys? It's Root Junkie here and in today's video we're going to be talking about my Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge and specifically we're going to be talking about some of the really cool features that come on this device. So right now you can see I've got some contacts along the edge and it's really neat. So without further ado let's get into all of the edge features on the edge. Let's go do this. So let's talk about these edge features. To get to your edge features, you're just going to want to go into settings. And I've actually created a shortcut form right there on the top. It's called uh, edge screen. You can also scroll down here and go to edge screen right here. So let's talk about a couple of these. Obviously, um, edge lighting, you got to turn it on or off. That's going to be you know your first thing you want to do is make sure it is on. Then we're going to talk about edge people first. So the way Edge People works is basically you assign a contact a different color. Here's a couple that I have. So, you know, there's my wife. That'll be blue. And you see some different colors. And you can add another one right here and go through your contacts. And, you know, it'll, it'll do that. So kind of cool. Kind of cool. Um, so that's basically what we're going to be doing and showing you guys how to do. Now, let me go ahead and show you an example of how the edge contact works on the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge. So let's go ahead and call this and show you the edge notification feature on this device. Now for phone calls and stuff you do have to have it face down which is a little funny to see the coloring. It doesn't really work face up but let me go ahead and show it to you. So we'll go ahead and call my phone and you should be getting a ring I'm assuming actually it's probably just going to vibrate. I don't think I have the ring on right now. But let's go ahead and see. So see, there you go. See, that's the green notification I have designated with this device. Now let me show you what happens when you flip it over. See, it just opens up. You can see that. But if you have it back like this, it's just the green. So it does have to be face down, which is a little bit weird to me. But still pretty cool. Check it out right there. Another cool thing is, you see, I missed that phone call from work and or from my work phone. You can also swipe over right here. There's a little green thing, and there you go. It gives you a really cool look of who you missed your phone call from, which is just pretty neat. Right on the lock screen, you just swipe over, and it'll be whatever color is designated for that contact. Well, just a little bar on the side. It's very hard to see in camera, but um, very, very cool. Neat little feature there as well. So, guys, next we're going to come in to... The next one here, and you have uh, information stream. So we're going to click on that, and we're going to look at some different things you can do here. So you have your different feeds. So these are some feeds that I have. I have Twitter on and another one, and then we'll turn on maybe Yahoo, um, and you can even download some more. It's kind of weird how they're ordered on here. See how they're all sideways? kind of irritates me that that's how they even show. Even when you go to download some more, they're still kind of sideways so hopefully we'll get more support for this and that'll be a real cool feature to show on these devices now i'm going to go ahead and go right back to this again and i'll show you an example of the stream so when your screen is off if you want to access your information on your edge just go like this and well if it does it it should sometimes it takes a sec there we go and then from here you can scroll through it and you don't have to actually turn your whole screen on so some notifications some different stuff there some stocks bulls and so on that's basically how you turn it on and off without actually turning on your whole screen so you know it's it's a unique feature i guess it could be useful i'm sure it saves on battery if you can get it to to activate that's the problem i've been having the most with it is it seems like I can't really get it to activate very easily. There it goes. It takes a couple tries. I um, wish it was a little bit more responsive, but that could be changed with some software tweaks, I'm sure. So there you go. Very, very cool. Moving on with some more edge features. You also have weather, and you can see it right here. Um, different ways you can adjust it. So edge screen, lock screen, calendar. Um, Fahrenheit and so on and you can see how often it updates it says every six hours I normally have to go like every hour because I work outside and I need to know what the weather is and moving on 
let's go back here and show you some other ones. So you have the information stream. You saw the notifications for uh, phone calls. And then you have night clock. So basically the way this works is for me, between 10 p.m. and 6 a.m., it's gonna show you kind of a clock right along the edge. So pretty simple, you can turn this feature on and off. And I'll just take, show you a quick shot of that. All right, I know you can hardly see this, but right by my finger it says the time, and right over here it says my alarm clock. The whole phone is completely black, and just right there in those two little spots, there is some information. This is that night mode, which is super hard to see. It's very low light, probably for two reasons. One, for battery, and the second reason is got to be just so that you don't need it blinding you at night. You just want to be able to look over at your phone and see the time and see your alarm. So um, I'm sure this uses almost no energy at all. So dim I can almost not even shoot the video of it. So, but that's basically what it is, right along the side of the phone. It's pretty neat. All right, so other than that, um, you can pick which side of the screen you want it on, left or right. You know, whatever's you know, more convenient for you. I'm gonna do left for right now. And uh, you know what, actually no, I'm gonna do right. So. The last thing I want to show you guys besides these different things right here is when it comes to your people edge, there's a shortcut on your home screen. So let me show you guys that. So that shortcut is nearly impossible to see. It's right up here. Basically right there you swipe over and you can see you can go right to each person. It's really cool. You can actually go in here and do a phone call, text message, or email that person and you just click on it and it'll go right to their information. You can also hit the settings button and get right back into here very easily to adjust your people and different notifications you're gonna get. Now, this will also do notifications of text messages, which is cool, but it only works with the stock text messaging application, not Hangouts, which is what I use, so a little bit saddened about that. So I'm gonna send my phone a text message. So, just to see. And we'll send that and I want to show you what happens on the edge when the phone's face down just like when you call your phone it should light up in green and now it's very hard to see that okay maybe you can see it there see it down there so it lights up in green and then if you flip your phone over see a little green bar swipe that over and you can actually read the text message so that right there is pretty cool. Now, it does go away. You can see that it's pretty much gone at this point. But that's basically how it works is that little green notification. This is kind of really designed for people who are at work and they have their phone face down. They don't want people constantly seeing their notifications. But to be able to see who it is and quickly, easily access it if they want to with the color designation, which is pretty neat. But there you go, guys. That's pretty much going to wrap up. Um, this edge feature on the side here and how it functions on the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge. One last quick note is it does also function on the lock screen. So you can come over here, swipe over, and get to it as well, which is pretty cool. And there's the fingerprint scanner. Oh, gotta love it. There you go. That's gonna wrap it up for me on the edge features on this Samsung Galaxy S6. Hope you guys like this quick video. Stay tuned for more coverage on this device, but from here we're going to move, instead of reviewing, we're going to move to hacking, theming, roming, editing, making this thing a beast. Well, it is a beast already, but anyway, stay tuned for those videos, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie, out.